Mark, another good win for you tonight. How would you assess your performance? I played reasonably well. Uh, conditions were trying. It wasn't the best table I've ever played on, but I didn't miss too many and played some good safety and thought myself through that match more than anything. I turned a few down, knowing how aggressive he can be. I played him before, and he's, he's a very talented boy. So, yeah, I turned a few down and tried to, try to keep him under pressure when I could. And, yeah, definitely... Just out, out thought and really in that match, didn't miss anything easy and made it tough for him. And you're through to this new Nirvana Turkish Masters, first time we're going to Turkey. Does it mean a lot to you to win tonight to make sure you booked your seat on the plane for that one? Yeah, look, I said like jokingly in the club before I flew over that I think there was going to be a bit of twitching this week from a few different guys, no wanting to get back to a really big event overseas because it's been a long time coming. Though obviously it was great to be in Berlin last week. But it'll be even better to get back to a bit of normality and travel and further afield. And you know, the resort, you know, looking at the video that World Snooker put up, it looks phenomenal. So it'd be great to get out there and experience it, you no know, first hand. And I've never been to Turkey, so Phil Yates talked really highly of the resort. I think he's been out there doing the golf a few times, and uh, he's actually told us to take the clubs, but we'll have to go there to work. Uh, I think I think a few guys are already talking about making it a bit of a holiday, but. No, I'm going to go there and try and enjoy the experience of being in Turkey, but I want to go there and try and win the tournament too. Yeah, talking about travelling to overseas events, we've probably all had times, you know, when we when we got a bit fed up, you know, of the long haul flights and all that sort of thing when we were doing it five, six times a year. Um, but now that we kind of missed it for two years, we kind of realised what we were missing, I suppose, and it's nice to be going out to those events again. Absolutely. Like Berlin last week was the first time I was out of the UK for two and a half years. And that's unheard of in snicker terms. So, like I said, it's just good to get back to some sort of normality and... Hopefully Turkey's like a bit of a feeder for hopefully getting the rest of the overseas tournaments back on the calendar again because it is a big chunk of our season that we've lost and uh, no nothing really World Snooker could have done about it. It's just the way the world is at the minute. I know they've done a great job giving us tournaments to play in, but it'd be nice to get back overseas playing the big events again regularly. And just for the sport in general, to be able to go to a new territory, especially a place as big as Turkey, where we know there's a lot of support for snooker, it's great for the sport. It, it is, and it could potentially be a big market to get into, you know, getting into that part of the world. And, you know, if going to Turkey for one tournament leads to others in, in the region, then, you know, Jason and the, the rest of the guys in the team have done their, their job. And we have to go out there and try and carry the sport and, you know, carry it to the best of our ability and show what snooker is. So, you know, the rest of us have a job to do off the table as well as on it. And you mentioned that some of the guys might treat it like a bit of a holiday and enjoy themselves, but are you just very, very focused on your results and your performances at the moment? Absolutely. I want to try and win every match and every tournament I play in. And you know, I don't want to be someone that just nicks a tournament here and there. I want to try and be a regular winner. And you know, the standard's so high now, but I always believe in my ability. I believe that you know, I'm one of the very best players in the world whenever I'm you know, on, on form. So it's just a matter of keeping that consistency high. You know, that's what the top players do. They, give themselves chances of winning tournaments whenever they're not at the best, and that's something I've got slightly better at, but I need to keep improving. And you've had a great season so far, very consistent, another good run last week in, in Berlin. Do you feel that your your game is in, is in as good a shape as it's been for a few years? Consistently, I've been very steady this season. I don't think I've had many spectacular performances, but I haven't really had too many really bad ones. And obviously, the semis last week was probably as poor as I've played all season, and even there, I probably still should have push Bing Tao to the cider, so the signs are good, but just want to make that next breakthrough, you know, win another tournament. You know, it's, I think I've only had two seasons where I've won more than one tournament, so I'd like to make this my third and hopefully go on and win more, but like I said, I know how tough it is, but I feel like my game's in good enough shape to do it. And does that make you more determined to practice harder, you know, keep your game, keep that momentum going and try and exploit that opportunity? I think what I would say is that I've always been a good practicer. I've always you know, put the hours in on the table. There's maybe been a year or two throughout my career that I maybe haven't worked as hard as I should have. But in general, I am a very hard worker and you know, I do the hours. Of, I feel like I work on the right things and remain focused at nearly all the time. So I think that stands you in good stead to be consistent. You know, I've been in the top 16 now for you know 13 years, so there's not too many that have been there longer. Uh, that shows, I think, how hard I've worked and how good I have been at being very consistent.